one of the stupidest articles, or I should say opinion pieces that I've come across in a long time, is this piece that's been widely linked and tweeted and so forth. That was in the Wall Street Journal. And as a, an aside, I'm really shocked this article is not under, or this opinion piece is not under a paywall. Maybe they didn't want to, maybe they were afraid of people asking for their money back or something. <laughs> Subscribe for the subscribers that were would end their subscriptions or something. But Joseph Epstein is an essayist. He's been around forever. He was born in 1937, so that should tell you that this guy is really long in the tooth. You know, he's of that generation, like that Dr. James Dobson, you know, that they grew up, reached adulthood in the 50s, and they still are stuck in that that uh, mire of the 1950s where women had a place okay um, which of course they don't have a place any more than men do and so he has this idea that Jill Biden who uh, is going to be uh, first lady of the United States when husband Joe uh, becomes president, but she has been in academia for many, many years. Um, probably, I, I don't even want to say, just years and years and years, probably more over 40 years, I'm guessing, or about 40 years. And um, she earned a doctorate in education in, I want to say, around 2005 or 2006. Somewhere like that. I'm not going to look it up. But she possesses four degrees, right? She possesses a bachelor degree, two master's degree, and an education, a doctorate in education. And this jackass, who I don't even think actually finished, uh, he, he, he actually got a BA degree in, from the University of Chicago. And it's a BA in absentia, which probably means he didn't graduate. That's basically that's basically what he is. He's just he's just BS on the reader. But he has the nerve to dictate to this woman how she should be addressed. Um, you know, and she prefers to be called Doctor Biden, not Mrs. Biden, but Doctor Biden. Okay. And uh, and that's and she's not the first person who who is not an MD who has called herself doctor in a social context. We have Martin Luther King Jr., who is always referred to as Doctor King, and he was not an MD or a dentist or even a veterinarian. He had a PhD from Boston University. But this guy just thinks that. Jill Biden has no business calling herself doctor because doctor uh, indicates, in a social context, indicates somebody who has a medical background. And in the old, 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 old days, that may have been correct. But there are basically, there are two kinds of doctorates. I mean, there are a lot of different doctorates, but there's two kinds. One is the kind that is a research doctorate. And that's generally, that's the, what the Ph.D. denotes. And then there are the professional doctorates, which are, include J.D.'s, lawyers, M.D.'s, physicians, D.O.'s, which osteopathic physicians, D.V.M.'s, veterinarians, and uh, D.D.S.'s, um, dentists, and Ed Doctorate. Um, in education, and then there's the Doctor of Divinity degree, which is for ministry. And there are probably others that I am not um, going to think of, or I can't think of right off the bat. But most of those professional degrees are required in order to be licensed in a profession, such as medicine or uh, law. 
And education, it's a little bit different because most people who go and earn an ed doctorate or even a PhD in education, um, that's for going into administration. Or even if they just want to know more about their specialty, they'll do it. So Jill Biden's, Dr. Biden's ed education doctorate, her major was in um, educational administration. Okay, so a lot of principals have that, or a lot of superintendents of school districts have that. But I think what really ticks this guy off, this Joseph Epstein, is he's a, he's typical of a lot of men, and I, I and I know I'm broad brushing men, but they have this idea, especially college educated men who think if you have a doctorate in engineering or something like that, or a PhD in hard science, that that is superior, that is somehow superior to an education doctorate because anybody can teach, and teachers have low SAT scores, and they're morons, and it's such an easy job to go in there and teach. And they're, of course, full of shit. It's the hardest goddamn job there is, and it's the, the job that forms the basis of all the other careers. Okay? That's what it does. It's not something any just anybody off the street can do. But there's a snobbery attached to it. And I've heard people say that, oh, an ed doctorate is just like a second master's degree. No, it is not like a second master's degree. The big difference between an educational doctorate and a Ph.D., is the ed doctorate typically it has a shorter uh, re uh, time requirement to work on a dissertation than a PhD does. But you know, by that logic, what about MDs and JDs and so forth, right? If they don't have a big dissertation, come on, it's a professional degree, not a research degree. So this is full of sexism that by Epstein but I that my theory is that's what's underlying his snobbery against Dr. Biden is uh, is the fact that she is in a female dominated field that has been denigrated mostly by the uh, white male uh, white male power structure because women just work for pin money and it's all easy work so they and they are supported by men. So you could denigrate their pay, you could denigrate their careers. And one thing he's wrong about here, well he's wrong about all of it. But one thing he's really wrong about is um and it does look like there's a paywall here. Read full story or whatever. But he's wrong about Bill Cosby. Uh Bill Cosby before he got in all his legal mess, he had over 70 honorary degrees. But, Bill Cosby has an earned doctorate, an education doctorate, that he got from the University of Massachusetts at Amherst. He earned that doctorate in 1976. So he does have an earned doctorate. Yes, lots of celebrities have honorary doctorates that they never lifted a finger to do. But Cosby does have an earned doctorate. So does his much uh, long-suffering wife, Camille. She earned a Ph.D. also at the University of Amherst, or Massachusetts, University of Massachusetts at Amherst in 1992. So I just want to clear that up. So not everybody that's a celebrity that goes around calling themselves doctor is has an honorary doctorate but he just thinks everybody this doofus thinks doctorates are just given or given out like candy and so he thinks the only the only people deserving of the title doctor are those in the medical field primarily men still male dominated women are making big inroads in that field and of course the pay is going down south as a result of more women being in it because we know women are denigrated uh, economically. But anyhow, 
Jill Biden can call herself anything she wants. If she wants to call herself Dr. Biden, so be it. And the only thing that might be a question here about when she does uh, move into the White House <clears throat> is indeed whether she's going to be able to uh, continue doing her job teaching at a community college or given or she uh, will have to do distance learning. My guess is given the obvious security problems here, she'll probably do distance learning. But we'll wait and see on that. But anyway, enough is enough with this sexist crap. And Joseph Epstein needs to retire. I know, and, it, and face it, it's an easy job what he has to write in inane, inane, inane articles like this saying she has no business calling herself a doctor. And um, basically he just ought to hang it up.